After more than 10 months of grief, a logistical nightmare, and little government help, this is what the Moors have left of their daughter. A box of her belongings from the plane crash. We can still smell the aviation, aviation fuel. fuel. <laughs> a stark reminder of the crash that killed their 24-year-old Danielle, who was on her way to a UN conference in Kenya. The Boeing 737 MAX 8 crashed six minutes after takeoff. There were no survivors. You have so many guilt as a parent. I was there to hold her hands <laughs> on that six minute of horrific. Was she calling us? Was she calling me? Families of the 18 Canadian victims have struggled through a long, complicated process. That's all we've been faced with here are roadblocks. Roadblocks like trying to get a death certificate from Ethiopia, then the daunting task of repatriation, and the haunting reality that not all of her remains were found. Canada provided nothing beyond consular services. I feel that we were abandoned. Um, it takes um, 10 months for our Canadian government to even have a meeting with us. We need to be better in terms of openness and transparency with the families. The government says it learned from this month's tragedy in Iran and will give more help to families of the Ethiopia crash too. You know, Minister Garneau is committed to that, uh, to hear what their needs are uh, so that we can uh, go forward and provide what the families need. They want to know what Canada knew about the troubled Boeing 737 MAX airliners so they can stop reliving that day. I, I, I don't think so that I could ever move on. My life is always be on the March the 10th. We feel so alone. I feel so alone and so lost. So lost, they can't bring themselves to open the rest of their daughter's belongings. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.